I don't know if it's appropriate to say this in this vlog or if this is even okay to say in this vlog, but... Hey booze, so I'm doing one of my old fashioned vintage hauls. So basically I went to Rosie Revolution where I'm from, it's a vintage shop and you could fill up an entire bag worth of vintage for $75. I have two bags filled with like vintage couture, like I have gowns, hats, accessories. This is a huge vintage haul. I really went out there and got like really extra hats. This is a try on haul because these pieces are so much more than sitting in a chair. This is the first time I'm celebrating Halloween in New York so I want it to be super extra. And that brings me to today's sponsor. I want to thank Pocket Styler for sponsoring this video. So the whole basis of the app is to build a look based on the requirements for an event, which is exactly what I'm doing with all this vintage that I'm going to show you guys. I feel like I personally relate to this game because I'm always building outfits for events. And in a way, I'm always competing my looks at events. And if you guys didn't know, Pocket Styler is a fashion styling dress up game for adults. You're never too old to play dress up. So in this game, you can create your own looks. You can participate in events and submit your looks for global global rating which is kind of like what we do in the real world, but we don't actually say it. You can also vote on other players' looks, climb a leaderboard, and become a better trendsetter. Also, I find this really cool. Every time you submit a look when participating in events, you get in-game cash so you can reinvest in a better look, better accessories, better clothing. It's kind of like the real influencer world, if you ask me. I am in love with the game because it really reminds me of real life when a stylist pulls looks for you because when I'm just sitting in my own closet with all the items I just get for myself, I stay in my own little creative a bubble when a stylist pulls options and puts them in front of me and I can only pick from those options I feel like I expand creatively so if you ask me this game is very useful in my everyday life for inspiration layering experimenting this game is very versatile you could play it anywhere you could play it at a coffee shop you could play it on the beach you could play it when you're laying in bed you could play it in the car this game is free free to download available for iOS and Android the link is down below in my description box let's get into this crazy big vintage couture ready for fall and winter try on haul so the first dress I'm gonna show you guys is this long velvet dress and the top has like these ruffles with polka dots. And when I was shopping for this couture, I was really thinking about holiday parties, Thanksgiving, holidays in general, and like New Year's. I know I wanna throw another New Year's party, so I was thinking like hostess vibes for like throwing a party. But this in general, I feel like black is so elegant you can wear anywhere. I go to Paris in the winter and I'm in New York City every week, so I feel like if I don't wear it for any of those events, this is just like a cute, like lavish night out, go see a play vibe. So this next dress is a very holiday. When I go up, you can see all like the shimmer and sparkles, the material fabric is very much giving winter wonderland. The top of this dress is very Kate Middleton. I feel like this dress looks super cute with hair up because of the back. I didn't do the full back because I am by myself right now, so it's definitely fitting a bit more loose than if someone were to here to help fasten, but this is how it looks. So cute. I really, really love this brooch that comes on the collar. So this next dress is a slip. I'm like bunching it up because it's a little see-through, but as you can see, there's like pretty blush ribbon going down. The sleeves have bows. Um, yeah, it's just super shabby, chic, and girly, and I feel like I could totally see myself wearing this in like Gabmas vlogs. And there's little tiny bows at the bottom if you guys can see. So this next vintage nightgown I got is so flowy. I'm wearing these like silk shorts underneath because it is super see-through. But I wanted to include this in this haul because it's just so lovely. It looks like a blanket of snow. I feel like going to bed in this, I'll just feel like a soft, elegant princess. I love how flowy it is. It's almost giving like swan princess energy. This next dress is very, very special to me. I actually recently had the pleasure of going to the Manhattan Vintage Show and they gave me $250 worth of credits to shop and I bought this dress from the Toots Vintage booth. I absolutely adore this dress. It reminds me of Cinderella or like a couture Alice in Wonderland. It's a 1950s prom tea dress with shimmer and ruffles, literally my favorite color. Like look at the sweetheart neckline, the silhouette, everything is just so perfect. So this next look is a plaid blazer that I felt looked like very Chanel. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like pastel colors. It's like light pink, mint, baby blue, lavender, white. It's so cute. I feel like I could see myself wearing this as like a dress. I feel like it's super cute for like the winter season if I wear like a turtleneck underneath. 
or maybe even boots instead of these pumps. Business chic. It's just really nice to have a variety of blazers in your wardrobe on the East Coast in the winter time. <laughs> So I know this is a little extra and I don't exactly have somewhere to wear this to right now but I know I go to a lot of events and this dress was kind of giving like 2022 Kim K energy with like the bleach blonde hair and it's kind of a vibe. I feel like I'll definitely wear this at some point to an event. Here's an up close look at the corset. Just a really lovely gold piece to have. It literally goes down to the floor and it's like hemmed to my exact height with a mini pump on. So I'm definitely gonna wear this somewhere. This next dress, if I just saw it on a rack, I would be like, no, I'm not trying this on and definitely not buying. But my friend saw this on the rack and told me to try it on. So I tried it on and I love this piece. I feel like it's so whimsical, it's so chic. I feel like I could go see an opera in this look. I just feel like it's hugging the right places. Like maybe wear this Chanel bow with it. That's fun. Oh my gosh. So this coat was made in Paris, so that's why I tried it on and oh my gosh, it is such good quality. I feel like I could wear this as just like a dress in the winter. It's so chic. Like this is just such a cute winter look, I feel. Like almost like unbuttoning it up to here so like a leg can come out be a little sassy i've been really loving big coats lately and this is just so soft and comfy so this next gown is an evening gown it's like applique embellishment and it's just so couture and wintry oh my gosh i love this i don't usually like strapless dresses either and i'm really really surprised that i got a handful of strapless dresses in this shopping spree Hugs the right spots. It fits like a glove. The structure is so nice. Obviously not gifted here, and this dress really makes me feel like it's okay, because it has this pretty design right here, and it's not super loose right here either. So whoever previously owned this must have been very similar to me, been very petite. So this next night set has to be one of my favorites that I own. Look at the sleeves. I've never seen a night robe look like this. It has like a balloon sleeve with ruffles and a little coquette bow. The underneath of this night robe is definitely see-through, but let me lower this to show you more of like a better look at this dress. I love to get dolled up to go to bed. I feel like everyone back in the day just loved to go to sleep feeling pretty because honestly, this silhouette like looks like something I would want to wear out. So this dress isn't usually like a color I like. It's like a taupey cream color. If I'm gonna go cream, I like to go like a yellowy warmer cream. This is like a cooler taupe color. But because I love the silhouette and the lace and the shape so much, I really fell in love with this. I feel like it matches my shoes very nicely. I don't know if it's appropriate to say this in this vlog or if this is even okay to say in this vlog, but this silhouette is very similar to a dress that I was gonna wear for a big occasion. I feel like I can talk about it now without being like, but yeah, this silhouette is very much so the silhouette of what I was gonna wear. I feel like I can wear a dress this shape and silhouette and still feel good, so. This dress has fringe and a bow. Such a fun holiday look. This dress is fringe all the way down. I feel like it's a really fun holiday evening dress. Imagine with like emerald green silky gloves up to here. I feel like a Barbie in this dress, like a holiday Barbie in one of those boxes, like. All right guys, well that's it for my vintage try on haul slash haul. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like this type of video. This is the type of content I started this channel doing and I'm very much still so passionate about these types of videos. I just feel like people just take to TikTok and Reels to do these types of things, but I was just in the mood to make a YouTube video on this and if you guys actually really enjoyed this, let me know. I love playing dress up. I always said when I was little, like I always wanna grow up to play professional dress up and I feel like I was blessed to have that as a job. I'm gonna be vlogging my Halloween in New York City. I've never celebrated Halloween anywhere but home so that's gonna be very different and I can't wait to see you guys in my next fancy vlog. Gabmas is coming up so soon. I'm so excited. See you guys next time. Bye.